Hi, Aries. Good morning. Okay, so hope this finds you well. Um, if you're new here, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. I kind of wish I could turn the camera around. Can I do that and show you the... Hold on. Nope. I don't know what these buttons do. <laughs> so, <clears throat> anyway, welcome. Okay, it's early. I slept really good. How you been sleeping? Um, I was also going through, like, um, particularly this morning for you, I was going through, like, old notebooks. Um, I have a lot of them. <laughs> but, uh... This one particularly um, was a lot of like what was on my heart, like what was on my mind, especially when I was confused. And it was very healing um, to like get it down on paper. Um, and I landed on this. Um, Well, I, I wrote this. I guess I want to share it with you. This is actually particularly when I was going through a big change. Um, I only hope to be as kind, friendly, loving, sweet, smart, wise, and gentle as a Zoomie. And then I started talking about, like, I was trying to explain to myself why sometimes, like, I don't exactly, um, well, I get into this whole point of, like, you know, feeling worthy of something. And there was a question, like, do I deserve that kind of love? Um the depth of attention and grace. And since we're sharing this, I want you to know that you are all these things, and of course you do. Of course you do. <clears throat> You're not, uh, your time is precious. And, uh, And if there's anything, I'm looking up at this top of this, was asking for, like, strength to endure something. If during this time, this is an adjustment point for you in, in Scorpio season in November, so if there's anything you're having to endure, <clears throat> you know, whoever your creator is, whoever you, whoever or whatever you deem your higher power to be, your higher self, whatever, just ask for what you need there, you know, and know that you also have support. And I'm seeing this like presenting yourself as an animal. So like, you know, maybe some of you can connect to an animal that you find that gives you strength. I don't know if that's a gentle animal or if it's a really powerful, like physically powerful animal. Power comes in different forms. Um, but you know, you can always embody that too if you, if you need to or want to. <clears throat> you know, I keep seeing a butterfly and a bear. Okay, so the first two cards that showed, the first card that showed themselves is this card, <coughs> this reliability card. Libra had this card at the end. Um, <coughs> excuse me, this comes with the perseverance card. So you must have been, like, in the past, beneath that's the tower and the destitution card and the judgment card. So there must have been something that kind of... Um, some kind of big decision that really, like, changed something significantly. Like, changed it in a sense where, like, once you start doing it, then it be it becomes something else. You know what I mean? And um, I want you to, wherever you've made appropriate judgment calls, to hold that position. Um, you know, some wars, we just have to, some situations, we just have to be, like... I surrender, <laughs> you 
you know, it's it's not not everything we can we can fight our way into. Um, I feel like again, this is more like past energy. Um, because you are reliable and you are strong and you do endure and you are kind and sweet and loving and wise and friendly and gentle and you do deserve um do you deserve that kind of love yes you do do you deserve appropriate uh, attention and grace yes you do <laughs> yes you do you because and you are that <clears throat> So the cards on the board are that showed themselves are the Nine of Earth and this New Beginnings card. Um, this sits in your strength. This sits sort of in your challenge. Scorpio had this card, this Beginnings card, <coughs> um, and what they're learning about. So what's what's she looking at? The Chariot. <laughs> You know, I don't know what it is, but maybe it's just collective energy, but it seems to be one of those things where it reminds me of this old Scorpio. Scorpio taught a lesson to everybody. And it went like this. If somebody gets you, like if someone under like whoever gets you, gets you. Whoever doesn't get you, whoever like questions your your decision making, like your choices, and you know you're coming from it from, again, a kind, loving, appropriate place, then like, who gives a shit? <laughs> who gives a shit? I know it seems, you know, maybe that doesn't sound so kind or loving, but like, sometimes that's the surrender energy too, where it's just like, well, I don't care. Like, I'm not gonna, you know, hermit, like, I, I heard I know what's fair or not, right? I know what is, uh, okay. Yeah. Oh my God. Yes. Look at the cards that just showed themselves. The Ace of Cups, the Ten of Cups, and the Two of Cups. Right? Just like your opposite Libra said, like, if you're coming at something from love and you know that that's pure, then if I heard, of course you have the strength to endure. Of course that has the strength to endure. Okay? <clears throat> Now, I guess there is something very new that could be a little bit a part of the challenge. Um, there's something new happening again, like, and I feel like this has already been happening to an extent, right? Like, I feel like this person's been walking. But I almost feel like whatever the newness is, is going to, like, pick up speed with this chariot energy. And... Um, Your strength right now is this accumulation card. So what you have, I'm seeing accumulated <clears throat> um, in your own confidence or independence. Um, this is nine of pentacles is, is being happy uh, with yourself. It's being healthy in your body. It's being like wise with your money. It's, it's being, it likes its own company. Um, and it's actually kind of a solo card. So your independence is really highlighted. Um, let's see what presently, what's going on. Oh, the card of planning. Awesome. Did we talk about this before? Was it dream work, teamwork, dream work? Where like, I heard there's a multifaceted, there's a multifaceted, like, situation, um, and I'm seeing, like, a crystal that's, like, refracting a lot of light, um, so something must have aligned, I heard, and connected just right, and then I saw that go out in, 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 like, a, like, a star pattern, kind of outside of, whatever is within this crystal and it made like a like a protection bubble <clears throat> around it um i heard a mountain of a mountain of faith right what do they say if you have faith the size of a mustard seed then you can say to this mountain move from here to there that's all you need sometimes Right, gotta have faith, faith, faith. Didn't we talk about this? 
feel like that was your yearly reading last year, this year too. Okay, so, interesting. So you got some big plans right now, but you know what? I want you to also check in with what your plans are with other people because I almost feel like, let's see what Spirit has to say. Oh, the universe. So this is the whole, there's that protection energy. There's that mountain of faith. Um, and then in the future, we have celebration, which is about home. The two of wands turns into the four of wands. It's a card of marriage and again, celebration, <clears throat> marriage, meaning like a connection of something. Um, I could also see, I don't know what is coming in this way. I usually don't technically tap into like purely romantic energy, but I guess things shift. I mean, you can take it however you want, but I do actually see with this nine of this is usually a single person, but chariot is like dual, right? There's two, the planning card is two. And then that turns into the Four of Wands in the universe, which is a, a bigger energy altogether. It's not just a singular person doing something. It's like multiple people and very much like um, like a balance of something like a partner or, you know, business partner, romantic partner, something where like that's creating. Um, and I heard threesomes are hard. or take more adjusting. Um, interesting. That's okay. So just how do the pieces go together, I guess. Um, let's see, Aries, what's going on here? I saw the word precious. And then I heard kind of someone saying like, I feel like, I feel unworthy. Um, what's that about? The Queen of Swords. And then we have the Death card. So I guess that's, whatever that is, that energy that's un underlying something that's like, oh, I'm not worthy of, um, you know, or I'm not strong enough, or I, I don't know, like, I can't, like, some, some kind of, like, I guess wherever you don't like something, you can, you can work through that. <clears throat> um, clarity, yes. So, Give me a second, Aries. I feel like you're not afraid of this new beginning, whatever it is. Very little scares you, right? I mean, maybe for a second there might be just 13, 13. Like, maybe for a second it might be like, ah, I feel, you know, it, it, it's like a soldier, you know, like, am I ready? And it's like, well, you already signed up, you know, and like, you're already on the team and you've already been training and you're ready, you're ready to, to go to this new space, you know, this new land. And you're not alone when you do it either. It's not, it's not an alone energy. So if some of you are hyper independent, um, you don't have to lose your independence to connect in the way that you want. And I feel like spirits like, no, with the four of wands, it's spirits kind of like the universe, if you will, is kind of like, no, you're meant to do this. I feel like someone else talked about this recently, like maybe one of the pick a cards. It was like the thing you're trying to do, like to say the bigger plans that you have in your life, the bigger goals that you have in your life, the things that you as an individual, you're like, oh, I really want to do that. I've always wanted to do that. Like, I've always wanted that, like, those kinds of dreams, those kinds of, ins like, ins inspirations. <clears throat> it's like, y other people are actually going to help that to happen. It's like, especially if you've been trying to do it, and for some reason it's been like, um, it's not that there hasn't been progress, but it's like the next stage of it to really make it solid, to have all the cornerstones. I'm seeing the cornerstones of a house. Um, yeah, to, to establish that, it's like, yes, oh my God, yes. 
the card of fulfillment, which is the nine of cups, the 10 of earth, which is all the things in the physical world, feeling so good about that. And it's like, some of you are getting like some kind of great, there's some kind of really beautiful gift. <clears throat> but whatever the changes are in relation to that gift may take a little bit of adjusting on your end. I suppose you could also be conscious of the fact that whoever is on the other end of that is also changing and um, kind of feeling like remember whoever's on your team is also probably f kind of feeling or going through what you're going through. So you're, A, you're not alone in it and B, being conscious of that may help you to balance um, and maybe even be like vulnerable. That could be a part of the challenge for some of you. Um, although we just put that away, so I guess, um, we don't need to sway. Okay. Oh, Libra talked about that, not letting anyone sway you from your path because you know your path is true. Um, so the, again, the decisions that you have made, I heard, hold them, hold them close to you. Um, that which I heard that which you have chosen to connect to there's that um fool card because maybe some of you there was something again you had to with fool you have to let go of something you know maybe it's just foolish people in your life you know or maybe it's foolish behavior I don't know or maybe it's where there's like sometimes let's see look at the way this king of wands is looking at the princess of wands can you see that? Well, this is interesting, but I actually do feel kind of like soulmate energy. Um, I heard I'd like to clarify this can come through many things, right? Zumi was my soulmate. She was a dog. You know, of course, humans can be soulmates, but I see this like kind of romantically too. For some of you, if you want to do that, I mean, if you want to expand there also you know um you know for instance say some of you you could be very much you could already be in a committed relationship married for a long time if that's the case then some of you need more of that independence if you've been hyper independent it's a little bit of a balance right again this is an adjustment point to you and it's acknowledging i heard your own power um, and also trusting other people in their ability to see what you cannot see. Um, it's like trusting, again, whoever's on your team. And I feel like the universe, this card feels like a very protected card, but this is a kind of a, um, like a, uh, it reminds me of Matthew. It's like the path is narrow and few walk, walk upon it. Scorpio talked about this a long time ago. It's like, this is very interesting. It, this card's expressing it where like there's this mountain of light and then there's this valley of the shadow, right? And where we're walking is like on this, it's like the Buddhist path, you know, like, because we can't climb the mountain that's, that's, you know, this extreme degree and there's no need to slide down into the shadow because we'll go down too far so it's like so just stay oh look at this just stay on the path because as you go along it widens out it like plateaus and creates something that's like more comfortable too so if anything feels tight right now you have the card of success um, and the card of perspective so maybe there's something that you Libra your opposite talked a lot about this like a perspectives on success perspectives on winning you know what I mean like maybe there's things in life that you didn't think you could do or again like what's possible right what I didn't read this line, but I kept looking at it. It's like, it's inconceivable to be all the things to all people as a human. But it's not inconceivable to be all the things that you can be. You know what I mean? Yeah, Zumi. There's a woodpecker, right? I mean, it takes your effort for certain. And that's the thing. It's like, whatever you're trying to do, the hard work that you're doing, 
it's like it's I feel like it's not just for it's not just an independent like I want to do this it that's a big part of it but like it has these other components where it's just like well this helps somebody else too you know I heard you're giving your depth of giving nature is is so um, true to you right um, you know, think about it like a soldier, if we take Aries as, as the soldier, as the warrior, like a warrior will sacrifice himself for the safety of others, for the goodness of others. That's that's really like a big part of your nature. And maybe maybe what's changing in that is you're realizing who and what you are dedicated to. You know what I mean? Who and what you're meant to put your time and energy into and also that which values you you know for for the person that you are for the efforts and um energy that you give you know and you'll know whether it's too steep like if something's too steep again if this is just for yourself you need another person it'll help if this is just you trying to do something again i heard for someone else and it's too steep then you'll you'll just know that that's that's off the path if it's t if it's kind of like too hard in a way not that you're not well how do i explain that that's that's interesting for you um because you're so powerful yeah that your sun is exalted in aries right um so actually one last thing since this is an adjustment time for you um Remember that part of the way to regain your strength so you can endure what have you is um, resting in this time. Um, you know, re regaining. Yeah, be gentle on yourself. Um, be gentle on yourself. I love this little deer, the little fawn. Oh, Libra had this card, the meditation card. So what are your plans around home? What are your plans around, um, what are your plans around home? What are your plans around relationships? I also feel like this also touches in on work and kind of money a little bit. Scorpio rules over other people's money. That's also something to adjust in this time. Two of Cups, intuition. Maybe some of you, another person could help you uh, with something. Um, or at very least, I want you to know that you have other people on your team. Right now we have the card of wealth and valor. Um, so I heard, don't be stubborn and in resisting um, some kind of, well, how do I explain that? Well, whatever you have built up into this point, 23, 23, that's nothing that anyone can take away from you. And you know what? You'll know who's on your team by who supports you and the words that they use and like how stable they are. Do you know what I mean? How reliable, that reliability card. Yes, and look at this. We just ended up with vision on top of this nine of pentacles. And where does this nine of pentacles go to the 10? Right, this is again an individual person and then it's expanding outward into like many people and many things physically, the creation of them, lots of happiness and comfort and um, again, maybe someone else talked to, oh, Taurus, Taurus, perfect. That's actually a blind spot to you. So that reading could be helpful. They talked a lot about career, which, which taps into this like home career access, but this card is the card of vision. So maybe you want a vision, like, I don't know if it's how you want to feel about yourself again, how you vision, how you're planning, like, What's your vision in ways of your plans? You know, I heard be creative about it. You know what I mean? Like, 
I don't know, maybe for some of you it is about money, or if it is about relationships, or, or commitment, or like, again, how you, um, how to receive, maybe, better, right? Teamwork, dream work. And I feel like because there weren't any, like, you know, sometimes, for instance, close this out. I think we already said that. It's hard for me. My mom taught me how to tell stories. <laughs> um, thanks, mom. Uh, you know, because of the cards that were here, I, you know, sometimes in life we have to, like, have a hard conversation with something or, like, combat something or, like, this energy is all real chill. And it's more about, like, uh, what's being done versus trying to like rehash a conversation, you know, like rehash something, it's it's forward energy, right? This chariot. You know, we had the card of beginnings. So, and maybe this is like planning from now until something about February. And then I see February, March, April. And it all goes in line. You have two of ones, three of ones, four of ones. So, like, you're... Right now, it's like you're holding the wand. Like, you're holding some kind of power. And, um... Yes, you are. Look at this. And whatever your power is, I want you to know, yes, oh my god, harmony, stability, and valor... I saw that again, we cannot be all things to all people as a human being. That's not our job, that's God's job, right? Or whatever you want to call your creator again. Do you deserve that, this kind of love? Yes, you do. Do you deserve? <laughs> yes, you do. And I guess the universe really wants you to know, like, right now, there, there's whatever your plans are, I guess, in the future, this plan turns into a reality. I mean, maybe for some of you, it's like a two-year goal. Like, in addition to kind of like what's happening, some little things that are happening right now, because some small adjustments in ways of things, you know, it's just kind of like, okay, I did this like that before, let me uh, ensure that I don't, I heard do that again, if it didn't work, you know, or be like, I did that before, and man, that worked awesome, like that worked, I heard that worked great, <laughs> so it's, it's these small adjustments is actually going to create the big, the big thing, um, yeah, success. Then the four of wands turns into six of wands. Very successful. You're so, you're so ready for something. You know, and maybe with that planning, it's kind of like exploring what certain decisions could be. You know, or exploring, like, um, the sun. Wow, yes. Like... Because remember, you are so strong. That's never something to question, whether you can do it or not. It's just like, maybe it's more of who you do it with. <laughs> who and how, you know, you do it with. Whenever that bird shows up, it, it uh, shows me like a male ancestor also that's like passed over, that's helpful. Um, could be one that's still around too, but maybe someone more that's passed over that's also helping, wants you to succeed. And I heard someone laughing. <laughs> okay. Okay. 
Okay. I love you so much, Aries. Thank you. Um, for being open to allow this, the flow of this reading to come out. Thank you for being, like, I heard my cup runneth over. Um, so that's to me is a beautiful expression of happiness um, and gratitude, great gratitude um, where a person is as an individual. And again, nine of cups turns into 10 of cups, which is everybody getting along. Um, and so again, in Scorpio time, remember that to allow emotion to flow, um, probably comes from you being still, right? I know whenever I'm quiet and still, like, something will um, move in me. Um, so <clears throat> maybe that'll help you too in this time. Um, you know, again, it's a very cleansing time. Uh, and I feel like, actually, one one last thing. Uh, I could talk to you forever. <laughs> I love you, Aries. Um, as you had mostly wands, in your reading, then you're probably clearing out like old energy in your body. And this reminded me of Pisces where they were like shaking off like some little residual energy of the past. So we'll give your space, yourself a little space and time to, to maybe clear that path. Do you know what I mean? Can you see that? I love you so much. I hope this was helpful. Thank you for being a part of this place. Um, and I hope you have a great day when you see this. And um, it's a beautiful morning. <laughs> All right. I'll talk to you next time. Peace out.